Your brain's a funny thing. Sometimes it does what you want it to do, such as compose an email or find something to eat in the refrigerator. Other times, it's uncooperative and obstinate, refusing to get started on that important new project or getting stuck and ruminating all day long on some negative thought that makes you feel unhappy. Your brain is brilliant and rebellious. It can be your best friend and sometimes your worst enemy. The first step in taming this beast and getting out of it all that you can is to understand it. And today I'm going to tell you an important secret about how the brain works. And oddly enough, it starts with the seemingly simple distinction between up and down. So just for a moment, let me ask you to look down and what do you see? Well, you see your hands, maybe a pen, cup of coffee, possibly a cell phone. When you look down, you're looking into what's called the peripersonal space. That's a space around you that's within arm's reach. Things that are within the peripersonal space are typically things you own and control. You use them, enjoy them, sometimes consume them. When you look up, on the other hand, you're looking out into the extrapersonal space, the world that's outside your arm's reach. If you want or need something in the extrapersonal space, it's going to take effort to get it. It could be a small amount of effort walking across the room to pick up a book off a table, or it could be more, walking to the store to buy a bag of peaches or planning a trip around the world. Interacting with things in the extrapersonal space takes place in the future because those things aren't here. They're imaginary, they're unreal, they're abstract ideas. When our brain processes things in the peripersonal space, it uses a handful of chemicals that might be called the here and now brain chemicals because they process things that are right here in the present moment. When we look out into the extrapersonal space, into the future, the imaginary, the abstract and unreal, our thoughts are coordinated by one single brain chemical and that's dopamine. It's the chemical of what you desire. But if we want to get satisfaction from the things that we have, we've got to shift down. We've got to come out of our dopamine circuits into our here and now circuits. And they feel different. It's a little bit more of a touchy-feely experience that is not always comfortable for people who love dopamine. But dopamine can't give you satisfaction any more than a hammer can turn a screw. Dopamine can only say more. And that's what dopamine is for, to maximize future resources. Whether it is the passion, patience, perseverance, and hard work necessary for scientific discovery, buying a new home, or starting a new career, dopamine is there to deliver. Dopamine changes the world. It makes the world a better place. But if we're not careful, it can also destroy us. So. If you want to do great things, fire up your dopamine circuits. Desire change, look to the future, motivate yourself. Cross bridges and succeed. But when you get there, you need to do something else. Something that for many of us is going to be just as difficult. You need to turn off your dopamine circuits. Let your here and now circuits have their way and celebrate your success. Connect with family and friends and if only for a little while, remember to spend some time right here in the present moment. Thank you.